past eight. The Radio Wemo Breakfast. Well, I'm um, very pleased to announce, if you haven't heard already, that uh, Little Bushman are um, producing a brand new studio album, and to celebrate, they're also heading out on tour as well. Warren Maxwell from Little Bushman joins me. Good morning to you, Warren. Hey, morning, my bro. Good How morning. Things? Very well, thank you. Very well. Sometimes I'm unsure what to put, what hat to put on you, whether it be the Trinity Roots one or the Little <laughs> Bushman one or the, all the uh, various projects as well. But congratulations, yeah. another new album on the way. Yeah, thanks, man. So it is all um, all sorted, all recorded, all printed. Yeah, we're still in the uh, you know we're still in the in the in the thick of it. Um, uh, we, we've sort of been. Uh, releasing, you know, we've released a couple of singles now as we've finished them, and um, oh no, it's coming together really well. We've, we've been recording it for about eighteen months or the last couple of years, you know, writing it for about three years. Good things take time. They do a fine wine, my friend. A fine wine. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, man. I mean, this one, you know, it's got. I think um, you know, being the pedantic artist that we are, I think it's got a nice maturity, a nice growth to it since the last two. Um, you know, we've actually taken, oh, yeah, put a lot of energy into it. And, um, no, it's come together really nice. It's pretty fruity, bro. Fruity? She's a fruity album, mate. Well, I think I think people <laughs> considered you guys to be slightly fruity after yep. Trinity Roots, I suppose, because, you know, they expected one thing from, from the Trinity Roots project. Yep. And then they get this. So you're changing it up even again. Yeah, I, I really, personally, I, I really love the idea of pushing, pushing boundaries, you know. So it's Hard House. You're playing Hard House now. Well, well, I don't know what you call it. Um, we've got one track that's uh, sort of Mississippi Delta hoedown house blues all in te reo, Māori, which is really weird. It's a strange wow. crossover, you know. But um, it works. It's, it's, that's what I mean. I think, you know, I really love the idea of, of giving an audience just something a bit different to listen to. And, you know, the great thing about music, you just put it out into the universe. People like it. Cool. Yeah. They don't. It's not like we've got a big, you know, multi-million dollar marketing <laughs> True. scheme behind us and we all wear hot pants and we've got abs and all that kind of rubbish, <laughs> you know. It's all about the music, so, uh, yeah, yeah, and I kind of enjoy that. With, with, uh, with the fruity music, does that um, employ some fruity instruments as well? Have you incorporated something unusual in there? Uh, always, always. Um, our guitarist, Joe, he's, he's quite into uh, world music, uh, so, you know, often we'll find... He'll do detune a twelve string guitar to some freaky uh low D flat tuning and then start bowing it through a reverse pedal and all sorts of kind of weird things. Yeah. Um and and, and again it's that thing of you know, your conventional uh setup of drums, bass, guitar, you know, just trying to make them sound a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but not heavily digitally processed. Yeah. You know, which is easy to do these days. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been great, man. We've got right inside each track and um, a lot of the subject matter, the, the whole album's the reference is, um, is more the positive side of humanity. You know, the last album was the darker side, you know, economy versus uh, common sense. And now uh, so shining a light, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, this one's more about, uh, you know, appreciating what's, what you've got every day and it's really poignant since the Christchurch earthquake this yeah. one again, you know, it's things like that, just uh, everyday things. And of course that's meant that um, uh, the uh, Christchurch gig is on hold indefinitely, obviously yeah. um, until venues manage to um, get back on their feet and that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely yeah. I mean, you know, when, when that happened uh, just put everything in perspective, we just thought how how menial and how minuscule the mm. The gig became, you know, mm. it's just a gig. Yeah. And here's these people dealing with, um, you know, deaths of loved ones, and they've got to rebuild the city. And you know, the, the September, September 4 one, that was, that was rough, but no one died down there. Yeah. And then this one, oh man, and uh, you know, oh, it just puts it all in perspective, eh? It's really tough, isn't it? But at some point, though, um, though you know, the people of Christchurch are gonna are gonna need the the, the music back and, and yeah. some of the some of the love and the soul yeah. and the heart, yeah. you know. Well, we don't want to we don't want to avoid the place like like it's been, you know, got the plague or something. Mm. Eh? No, for sure. You're right, yeah. But um, I think just give them a bit of time to heal, and then we'll, you know. Uh, no doubt there will be some, um, you know, fundraising uh, charity concerts around the country. Hopefully, there's definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
plenty of yeah. opportunities. Yeah. Um, cool. So uh, you will be heading to Dunedin, though. So um, I, I know a lot of people will be heading out of Christchurch just to um, get out of Dodge for a wee while. Yeah. Um, but that's not until not until April. The tour is not for a wee while away yet. Um, and yeah. Wellington and Auckland as well, all at, all around the beginning of um, of April. Of course, all the details will be up at littlebushman.com. But we, when can we um, when can we get the album? That's what next week. The album's out. <laughs> Um, Go on. We, we, I wish. I wish, mate. I wish. <laughs> no, we're still we're still finishing off some some last minute sprinkles for you, fella. Okay. But um, no, we. Yeah. Well, uh, when is the release date? I think it's um, uh, mid March. I think. Yeah. Mid March it'll be coming out, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's it's definitely a concept album again. You know, um, there's there's a there's a link. There's a theme running through it, and. Um, this Astro Girl one, that's pretty fruity. Yeah, well, I'm going to play it. Um, so this is um, this is my first hearing of this one, first listen. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll just slip in a note as well, but I think the edit you've got there is five and a half minutes. Yes. The actual album track is 11 and a half minutes. Wow. So <laughs> okay. um, it's a huge, huge psychedelic journey. Right. Um, so you haven't, you haven't included any radio singles of three and a half minutes in there? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> No, no. The radio no. programmers around the country are demanding three and a half minutes. Oh well, you've got to be—I know—but you've got to be able to fit in your Harvey Norman ads. So <laughs> you know that's the main thing for you guys. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and the news. The and music. The, the music's all filler, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just polyfiller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. thanks very much, Warren. Really nice to uh, nice to chat to you once more. Awesome, and um, and no doubt we'll be catching up again soon when thanks. you're um, when you when the album's out and when you hit the road. Thanks for your fellow support. Cheers. Bye-bye.